Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, March 8th. A windy morning here in the Mid Atlantic region. It'll be another very warm day with temperatures approaching or even surpassing 70 degrees in many spots here in the Mid Atlantic region. Yesterday was very warm, but this two day significant warm up will come to a halt late tonight and early tomorrow as a cold front slips through the region. And the next couple of days will be much closer to normal. In fact, Saturday will be some 20 degrees colder than high temperatures for this afternoon. But that setback will only be brief, and by Sunday we'll begin a new warming trend. And next week looks very warm throughout a good part of the country, and actually the following week looks very warm as well. Let's start off here by looking way ahead. This is actually off of Dr. Ryan Maui's website, and it's the temperature anomalies from the GFS model, last night's GFS model, for the next eight days. This is the average for the next eight-day period right into the middle part of March, actually about March 16th. Notice the just a large, large part of the country here, the eastern two-thirds of the country in the orange and reds here. This is way above normal. Again, these are anomalies, temperature differences from normal for the next eight days. Now, the other thing to point out here is once again, as has been the case much of the winter, we're very fortunate here in the central and eastern part of the U.S. While we're warm, they'll be colder than normal, basically everywhere to our north here in North America, throughout Alaska, all the way up in much of Canada, and even Greenland looks quite cold over the next eight days. But here in the eastern and central part of the U.S., after this brief setback of uh, cooler temperatures on Friday and Saturday, We'll warm up next week, and actually the following week looks very warm as well. Well, here's the latest NOAA surface map for the U.S., and a couple of major players here affecting our weather here in the Mid-Atlantic region. First of all, strong high pressure sits off the east coast, and a broad flow of southwesterly winds kicking in this morning. We'll have wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, especially during the afternoon hours ahead of this cold front. This is the cold front that will slip through by morning and give us a temporary uh, dose of reality on Friday afternoon and Saturday. Again, Saturday will be some 20 degrees colder than what we can experience this afternoon. This afternoon we'll have wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour, but temperatures will be close to 70 degrees. Well, how about cloud cover? Well, this is the latest GOES visible satellite image of the northeastern quadrant of the country. Basically a mixed bag expected today. There are some clouds here, some high clouds here across Pennsylvania, Maryland, and into Virginia. But for the most part, it will be a mixture of clouds and sun with these windy and warm conditions. Thick clouds from eastern Ohio on west. All this is associated with that cold frontal system. And there are some showers out here that will cross the region overnight tonight. Well, in terms of precipitation with that frontal system, the closest right now is out over Ohio, and all of this will be moving steadily to the east all day and across the mid-Atlantic region overnight tonight. won't be a major rain event, but there will be some decent rainfall overnight tonight, perhaps a quarter to a third of an inch in most spots from D.C. to Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York by the time the early morning Friday rolls around. There may be a lingering cloud or shower early tomorrow morning, but for the most part, tomorrow should become partly to mostly sunny, but much cooler than today. Here we also see the isobars, and this is uh, the cause of the, the uh, strong winds today out of the southwest into the mid-Atlantic region here, pumping in some mild air, but the winds will gust up to 40 miles per hour or so, especially during the afternoon. Well, let's look at a few forecast maps from the GFS uh, global forecast system computer forecast model. This is for tonight. By tonight that cold front will be across central Pennsylvania. Showers will be moving into the mid-Atlantic region. It loses a little bit of punch as it comes uh, across the state of Pennsylvania and across the uh, West Virginia and Western Virginia mountains. Uh, but there will be some showers moving in. No doubt there will be some rain again a quarter to a third of an inch by tomorrow morning. Uh, it, it probably begins later on this evening after the evening rush hour and colder air is behind this front. There's no doubt it'll turn out to be quite cold, especially Friday night and Saturday with temperatures on Saturday some 20 degrees colder than what we'll experience this afternoon.
Here's the GFS map for tomorrow morning, and by this time the front has moved off the coast. Precipitation is just ending. If it hasn't ended already, it should be ending uh, right around sunset, excuse me, sunrise, and it should become partly to mostly sunny throughout the mid-Atlantic region, but noticeably colder than today. Temperatures will struggle to get past the low 50s in many spots compared to the upper 60s or low 70s uh, this afternoon. Again, cold high pressure will move in and it'll get downright cold tomorrow night into the 20s and Saturday we'll see temperatures mostly confined to the 40s throughout the mid-Atlantic region. And here's a computer map for tomorrow night, Friday night. By this time we're all in the, the clear now in terms of precipitation. It's Quite clear in terms of uh, precipitation, but quite cold as well. Again, temperatures tomorrow night will drop well down into the 20s in most spots, and Saturday will be a cold day with highs only in the 40s throughout the mid-Atlantic region. But you look farther to the west here, and the seeds of our next warm-up already occurring here in terms of southwesterly winds on the back side of this high. And once this high passes to the east, by the latter part of the week and we will begin a, another warming trend on Sunday and it looks like again as we talked about at the onset the next week looks very warm throughout the eastern half of the country and the following week looks quite warm as well so this will only be a temporary setback on Friday and Saturday before we start another significant warm-up for next week. For the SIWeather.com I'm meteorologist Paul